I have been extremely lucky. Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel. Birds are active today. I have been extremely lucky because right here, this is a stain and oil drippings from uh, my minivan that I bought that I've had for a week now. My Kia Sedona 2004. I didn't notice this. There was a puddle of oil right here. And uh, drippings there. I didn't know till I went to the park yesterday to go for a walk. And uh, halfway to the park, I noticed that the temperature was getting really hot. I was like, what's going on here? Didn't think anything about it because it was early. And I went to the park, did my walk, and got in the van, started it. And as I backed out from the parking, I noticed there was a puddle of oil on the ground. But I still didn't think anything of it till I came home. And as I was pulling into my carport here, I noticed this big puddle of oil here and oil there. And then I crawled under my van. The oil filter was almost off. It had came loose. And right there, the oil filter. See, it's clean now and dry. It came loose. It was unscrewed. I had to tighten it and turn two and a half turns and screwed it back on and there was oil all along here all along that all the way down there and throwing up everywhere and I got some bought some degreaser and cleaned it all up and uh, tightened it up and then I put a filter wrench on there and tightened it pretty good so it's snug and as you can see here in the ground it is not leaking and I checked the oil yesterday. My wife came home so I could go in the car and buy some oil. It was three and a half quarts of oil low. This only takes four and a half quarts of oil. Well, now it's got all the oil in it. It's full to the top. But now when I started, the belt squeaks in the morning. So let me see if it will squeak now. Because I'm going to go to the park. I want to see if it squeaks because I squirted it off with some water yesterday. And uh, I'm so used to having a remote. I was wondering why it was running hot. Oops. Let's see. We had squeaks. Belt squeaks until it gets warmed up. The door. And then the squeak will go away. I don't know if it's because if I got the degreaser on the belt or what, but. If I wanted to get it to stop squeaking now, I got to squirt water down on the, the, the fan belt there and it'll stop squeaking. But uh, yeah, it's not running hot anymore now. It runs normal temperature, but that's weird. I've never in my lifetime ever had a uh, oil filter come loose. They say it's supposed to rain today, but I don't see any rain. 60 degrees out right now. Oh, running the heater, man. I'm cold. See, the squeakiness has stopped now. Got my Batman back in my van. It just, first thing in the morning when I started up, it squeaks. I try to squirt some silicone spray down in there, but there's absolutely no room to get down in there and squirt in the, behind the pulley that I hear that's squeaking. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I gotta hit the park, gotta walk these pancakes off, man. I had me a triple stack of frick, freaking thick um, Hungry Jack pancakes, man. Now it's running normal now, the temperature right here. It was running all the way up almost to that red H. I was like, wow, that's pretty strange. First thing in the morning, it's so cold outside, it'd be running so hot. And uh, I didn't put two and two together and didn't realize it. I don't know, man. This guy had his thing changed to Jiffy Lube last time. And uh, it's like he's got a whole new oil change now because it only takes four and a half quarts of oil. And it wasn't even showing on the dipstick. I put three and a half quarts of oil in it and I checked the oil just now. Oil looks brand new. Like I just had an oil change. <laughs> As I mean that's a real crazy way to change oil, man, I'm telling you. I've never had this happen to me in my whole life, man. Ever. It's the weirdest thing. I've, I've never even seen or heard of a freaking oil filter coming unscrewed. But it's nice and tight. I just checked it. And uh I'm on my way to the park now. Right, Batman? 
All right, let's go. The heater works really good in this van, man. It's nice and toasty in here. Here it says that uh, it's dropped two degrees since uh, I left my house. 58 degrees now. Whew. Man, it's going to get tough to get out of this nice, toasty, warm van to 58 degrees and do my walk, but got to do it, got to do it. Yesterday I was walking here, everybody was walking around the park, it was about six people. Everybody was dressed in sweatpants and like uh, uh, light jackets. And I, I was the only one walking around with shorts and t t-shirt on. People looking at me like I was weird, man. Like, were you from up north or something? No, it's just, I'm cold, it's just when I walk, I, I get warmed up. It's running perfect temperature now. Uh, I'll make sure before I leave to look in the parking spot here and make sure there's no oil on the ground because that thing's going to be paranoid. Let me park somewhere where there's no oil. Yep, definitely no oil on the ground here. Get parked here. You have to park. Gotta get my walk on. Somebody had a party here. I forgot to take down their party decorations. All the prairie, go prairie dogs are in hibernation. There's absolutely no rabbits around here. No prairie dogs. No lizards. The park has gone dead except for the birds. The birds are singing and chirping like crazy out here today. Look at that Ocotillo cactus. Oh, blooming. Check out this bird, man. I think it's a robin. Can't really tell, but he's got like that mohawk type thing on his head. He's really, really far away. I don't have my glasses on, but all I can see is a, I don't have a tripod either. All I can see is the, uh, like Mohawk on his head, but he looks like a red robin or something. That's how far away he is, look, watch. I'm zoomed. <laughs> this is how much I look around and notice the surroundings around me. That I spotted this bird so far away. And his little mohawk is what captured my attention. Beautiful bird. Alright, back to walking. I get distracted so easily. So I'm on my last lap. My three mile walk. Been going by and checking my fan every time I go by. There's absolutely no leaking. But like I said earlier, it's the weirdest thing. I've never heard of an oil filter coming unscrewed or even leaking. So I'm going to be paranoid about that all the time, constantly checking that. There's all kinds of birds out here today, man. This park was chirping like crazy when I first got here. And it feels like it's dropped at least five more degrees. It is freaking cold, even though I'm walking at a very fast pace. My nose and tip of my ears are already frozen. The wind is picking up. And uh, definitely getting chilly. Here's some more birds here. Look, look how fat that one dove is, man. Look at the one on the left and look at the one on the right. Come on, focus. <sighs> Always get distracted by the wildlife. Nope, it still says 58 degrees. Got my walk done. I'm going to go cash in this lighter ticket. I got two numbers, 13 and 39. This is a daily doubler. So, because it was a dollar, means I'm going to win $2. Match two, win $2. And, uh, let's go. Let me look at the ground here and make sure uh, no oil on the ground. Absolutely nothing there. That's good. That means the Leak is fixed. I can stop worrying about it. Uh, all right, off to the store, cashing my lottery ticket. So, in the process of trying to find, I had a rattle going on around, and the sound like it's coming from the back here. I checked the spare tire; it's nice and tight, wasn't it? I, w I took the jack out right here, and went, took it out, sit on the ground, and I went for a drive. That wasn't it. And uh, but in the meantime of looking at the taking the jack out, I realized it's a scissor jack. I realize I do not have the part, the spans that makes the scissors jack open up, and I do not have a lug wrench to take off any lugs in case I ever get a flat. So, trying to find a 
freaking vibrating noise. In the process, I realized that I have a jack that is worthless, that I cannot change. So as I was looking around my, I noticed this right here. I was like, man, how did that little leaf get into this tail light? And then when I went to touch it, this whole tail light moved and I was shaking it back and I could put my whole fingers in there. I was shaking it back and forth and realized this is the rattling that I'm hearing. And then I saw that there was a screw here and then I went and got me a piece of metal, bent it and then drilled a hole down in here. Boom. Now it's nice and sturdy. I went and took my van for a ride. The rattling noise is gone but in the process I figured out that this is broke. I thought there was a tab that goes here but I looked over here on this side and nope. Absolutely no tab. There must be a clip inside here on the other side that snaps into there. It keeps that from vibrating. This one's nice and tight. doesn't vibrate. But, uh, yeah, in the process of trying to find out, uh, I learned two things. I learned that this thing is broke. It's fixed now. It doesn't, it doesn't rattle. It's nice and tight. I took my van for a ride. It doesn't rattle. And I noticed that my brake light, one of my brake lights out also. I was uh, having my son push on the brakes for me because I wanted to check the lights because I thought maybe this light wasn't working, but everything's working. I got a good bulb for that. But uh, yeah, I learned two things. That was rattling and I got a worthless jack. All right, well, I'm back at home. I got to go take a shower and go to work. And I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video as always. I, like I said at the beginning, I was extremely lucky to find my oil filter did not fall off. But uh, I do not have any oil leaks anymore now. The filter is nice and dry. There's no oil on the carport there. And there's nothing over here. So, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Like always, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to get down.